Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. So I've been doing some testing. I've played the game a bit of camera, not... I didn't spoil anything. But I think we can do this. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Is your fate the fate of the cursed? So yeah, here we are. Dark Souls 2. Awesome. Here I am, laying on the floor. And it's so pretty. The intro is so pretty. I'm blown away. <laughs> Uh, 
Praise the sun. Things betwixt is where we are. For some reason we're only half health. We cannot see our face. And um Yeah, so I've been doing some testing to test out uh, the frames per second. <laughs> If it's at all viable to record, and it seems pretty okay. There's some frame drops uh, if I load new new areas. Maybe you'll notice when I'll walk in here. But otherwise, I think it'll do. There we go. Um, I think it'll be okay. There's some dogs here, but they're scared of me. Ooh, boo, choo, choo. Um, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm liking it already. The controls seem, uh... Oh, this is where I came from. Seem a little more fluid than Dark Souls 1. A little more natural if you switch to a direction you're moving or something. Feels more natural. And a rusted coin for me, alright. <laughs> yeah. And like the animation for going from walking to running, that kind of stuff, all seems a little more fluent. <laughs> Dangerous ledges. I'm a bit turning around now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Yeah, I'm totally turning around. Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. How could I not find that? What does these dogs want? There's a house. There's a ledge to fall to our tomb. And here's some hidden thingy. With a ginormous beast that has been walking here. There he is. I think we should leave him alone for now. We're very low level. Actually, <laughs> but I'll come to that in a minute. We haven't even created our character yet. And at first I was really scared that there would be no character creation. That you could only be one guy. But, um, fret not, my friend. Because we're going into this house. Not via here, but I just wanted to check it out. Yeah, nothing here. Here we go. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, she was lovely. You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. Oh no. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? I know my name. And I know another thing. I'm gonna actually type it in correctly. In, uh, <laughs> in contrast to Dark Souls 1, where I made a typo 
in my own name, Mars Capone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Is she mocking me because I typed it wrong in Dark Souls? Here's your reward uh. for sharing. It's a human effigy. Look at that. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Probably me, right? Think back. Deep into your past. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Told ya. And here we go. Um, character creation. So yeah, there is character creation, luckily. So there's different classes, like in Dark Souls 1, I think. I believe it's the same class as, as Dark Souls 1. Although the swordsman was called... Uh, adventurer, or traveler, or explorer, or something. Wanderer, wanderer. And now it's called a swordman. And I think he's even wearing the same clothes. I don't recognize the rest right away. That's because I wasn't one of them. I was a swordsman. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go with the same, I think. Same themes, same style. Right? And gift, oops. No, oh, gift. I... You know, I could go with a deprived one, <laughs> but I don't think I'm good enough for that yet. I'm not that hard hardcore. I, I, I'd rather roleplay than play it hardcore. Um, what do you want? I don't know. There's no uh, OP treasure key this time, although I wouldn't pick that anyway. Let's uh, do some FG. And now I'm gonna spend some time creating my uh, my looks. So I'll see you when I finish with that, I guess. So this is uh, what I ended up with. I think it's pretty okay. Just a normal guy. I don't know if he looks like me. It's really hard to m make a character look like yourself. Or... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if you have a very deep knowledge of how to work the sliders. But th th then still, you have never really seen yourself from a third person perspective, I guess. So I guess uh, we're gonna go with this. Yes. And I have an ID for this series. Um, because it's called Dark Souls 2. And I wanted to change things up a bit from my previous Dark Souls uh, series. I've decided to make a second character. I actually made her to um, to test the game and test the frame rate and stuff. So yeah. This is her. And I tried to make her as different from my normal character as possible. So I'm a guy, she's a girl. I'm a... Um, uh, swordsman, she's a sorcerer, and um, yeah, I don't know if I'll keep it up through the uh, entire series, I don't know if she'll make an appearance every time, but I just want you to, I want her to, I don't know, to explore things I, uh, I forgot with my normal character, to to explore different options, and to also to yeah, to explore the the magic side of things. So, uh, yeah, the first thing we forgot, for example, is to talk to these guys. My name is Millibeth. So I can do that now. The old Hi, Millibeth. Women who wants fire keepers. I am here to look after them. Okay. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. The old women were keepers of the fire. You just said that. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. 
Oh no. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. The old women are sisters. Okay. I am told there was a fourth. Mm. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. Interesting. The old women, but now they Yeah, I had a feeling you were gonna repeat yourself. Okay, interesting. <laughs> That's probably all they have to say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> you must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose Ooh. if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your yeah. will is yet unbroken, then you may return here. Okay. To start again. With a clean slate. <laughs> now go along. <laughs> now go along. Okay. Okay, interesting. <laughs> They're all insane. Okay, so yeah. Um, once again, I don't know if I'll if I keep bringing her back every episode, but um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll actually start the adventure. So uh, see you then. Bye bye.